Hey everyone, this is Dr. Hughes. Uh, we have a younger cat here that swallowed a possible foreign body. Um, usually cats love to eat uh, string, any type of yarn, any kind of fishing line. They love to eat uh, you know, long stringy things. And we think this is, there's like a five inch piece of yarn. We did an x-ray and basically uh, on the barium, well, we gave some barium and the barium's highlighting some type of foreign body there. So anyway, we're going to uh, do an endoscopy. This is one of the services we offer at Conejo Valley Veterinary Hospital. And uh, it's great because if we can get this foreign body out with an endoscope, uh, this uh, little kitty can go home tonight and doesn't have to spend the night. I don't have to do any surgery, invasive surgery, where I open up the abdomen and, and actually uh, have to go into the stomach and remove the foreign body that way. And that would be a two-week recovery on that. So, so hopefully we'll get lucky. Here we go. Right now, I don't know if the camera's showing this, but we're in the esophagus, and you can actually see the heart beating right up against the esophagus there. So, Caesar, can you see the uh, heart at all? Yeah, I it zoom in a little bit. Yeah, okay. So now we're going through. Okay, so we're in the stomach now, and we're going to inflate the stomach. We'll see how this goes. Caesar, I might have to have you hold the neck in a second, too, just so we can. Sure. You can see the folds of the little folds of the stomach right there. Looks like it's inflating everything. Okay, and actually there is the form body right there. So what we're going to do, so you can see, um, that's the stomach inflated. Now you can see a little bit of the rugal fold still. And then if you look right there, there is the form body. And it looks like the owner told me that it was a blue piece of yarn. And I can see that it actually does look like there's a blue piece of yarn in there. Awesome. Let's take it out. All right, Caesar, you have the graspers? Yep. Okay. This type of foreign body would have gone down the stomach and would have gotten hung up on one part, and the whole yarn would go down the intestines, and then the intestines would plicate or a, a kind of form an accordion over it, and then the yarn or string serves as a saw, so it can be very fatal if we don't get this out right away. So it's very good that the owner observed this and we were able to go, go in here and get it out of the stomach before it actually went down into the intestines. So, all right. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm trying to hold the graspers too. Wow, here it is, guys. Let me give them a close up here. If we can or not. There it is, guys. That's how we remove a uh, gastric form body uh, from a dog or a cat. So, hope you enjoyed this video.